into um, the industrial district. So a great way to think of Arkham City. Um, Hugo Strange has taken all the nastiest villains and put them there. We've got Two-Face, Penguin, like all fighting this turf war. Think of it like Hugo Strange has had this really good party, but he's not invited Joker. So Joker's gate crashed. <laughs> So he's kind of, he's there, he doesn't really fit in there, you're not quite sure why, and if you're playing the game, you're probably very slowly finding out why. So his whole area is decked out like this kind of, okay, you guys didn't invite me, I'm having my own party. Screw you guys. So the design is this like, like twisted, rusty, industrial feeling like carnival. And our lead narrative designer, Paul Crocker, worked very closely with our artistic director, David Hago. And the kind of mantra for the design look of Arkham City was the feeling that if you ever touched it, you'd get sick. You would get, like, you'd stick to any building. Everything should have that. It's still intact, but you never want to be near anything. This place, that kind of red, brimstone and ash feeling, is absolutely the kind of epicenter of that. Let's have a look around. job on that. And while we, I can say it's this big, expansive, open world, it's also about still having that claustrophobic feeling in the tight spaces. So when we go inside the steel mill now, which I love this sequence so much, we've shown you we can fly around, but we want to show you that we can still do that inside level design. Anyway, 
because there's some pretty spoilerific content in there. Now we work really hard as a studio to kind of manage all the content we release. And Nightwing was only announced last week. Um, Nightwing is an incredible character. If you know your Batman history, who knows the Batman history? Oh man, I'm not, there's a few you don't, so I'm going to tell it and you guys can tell me if I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm not, because I'm terrible at my job. <laughs> so Nightwing is essentially Dick Grayson, the original, the vintage Robin. Our Robin in this game is actually Tim Drake, who comes along as the... Oh. Depending on the timeline you go for, the second or third Robin. Um, and we kind of, as everything we do with Batman, we give them our own style. We're going to go with something that doesn't feel like the classic way to interpret it. So our concept artist, Cam, looked at Robin and he thought, oh, do you know, this is a guy, this is Tim, he's had a very tough life. He watched his parents die in an eerily similar way to Dick Grayson, <laughs> with a different mastermind behind it. And he's grew up on the streets. So it's like this kind of UFC brawler character. He's also the only character in the game who fights with a weapon, he fights with a staff. 